you done? Look at me. I'm gonna try never looking at me. <laughs> double down to the microphone. Hello guys, welcome to Belly Hanging. Dan's not looking at me anymore. He said that he's never going to record another podcast with me I'm whilst sure looking at me. not look at you. <sighs> Dan, look at me. We're never yeah. going to be able to do this podcast together. It's what cats do, isn't it? <laughs> cats don't ever look at you, no. no. Every and now to... and then they look at you and you're like, and oh my God, I'm so soul. bonded with you. Like, oh, I just got you He looked bit. at my eyes, he couldn't resist. I'm not he loves my eyes. I just got the window. <laughs> How are you, Pete? I'm really good, man. I'm really, really good. I'm in good spirits, good mood. How are you, Dan? Is it better now I'm looking at you? Yeah, it's nice. It's easier. But now it's like intense. You now never you, know. Now, now I just stop. And now might, eye contact never that ends. That might be the moment we stop looking at each other. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's kind of like that thing where you think, um, when, you know when you th- start thinking about blinking? And then blinking feels really weird for a long time because you're noticing every blink. It's like when you register, when you talk about eye contact with someone, eye contact becomes really weird for a little while until you forget that eye contact's a thing. Do you know what I've, I mean? I've thrive in eye contact. You, you thrive in the uh, insanity the of animosity it. animosity of it. Yeah, just like staring. Okay, then. Whilst we're... What about the word quite? How does that make you feel? Mm, out of ten. Just what do you think? How do you feel? Quite. Quite makes quite. me feel pretty good. Quite. Yeah, quite. It's pretty good. Quite. Yeah, whereas quite could be pretty bad at the same time. Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? Is it six? Is it seven out of ten? Mm. What's your quite, guys? Have a think about that tonight when you're in bed. Yeah. Which oh. Before you go to sleep, just go, what's my quite? Mm. How are you feeling? Quite. Quite good. Good? Quite bad? Quite bad. Quite bad is really bad, isn't it? But quite good is really good. Or are you just feeling quite? Mm, I'm feeling quite. I feel really quite. quite. Do you how, wanna... are you f- how are you today, Pete? I'm... I'm really good. How are you today, Dan? Oh, thanks for asking. I'm quite. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try that thing that we tried the other day? So I, 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 I've heard this new thing where me and Dan can... Um, just me and you, no one else. No one else, just because Fair we're news. in this room. Yeah. But it's that word association game. And it's the, the idea of it is that we get on the same vibe, the same rhythm, the same wavelength, okay? And it's a fun game. And we just did it the other it. night, and it worked. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we've got to pick any, ga- any word... Um, should we pick uh, cat? Okay, and then on three we're gonna say a word, and we'll just the, the listeners will understand in a second. Okay, three, two, one. Jasmine. <laughs> Close. Three, three two, two, one. one Jasmine. Close. Three, two, one. Cat. Kitty. Close. Three, two. two one cat. roll. Oh. oh, did you say mole? Roll, roll, roll. Kitty cat roll. Kitty cat roll. Three, two, one. Swiss. Play. Swiss. Swiss roll. <laughs> Play. Okay. Yeah, Play yeah. in Swiss. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. Mountain. Knife. Play knife. Mm. Swiss roll mountain. Mm. Play. Swiss army knife. So I was bringing those two words together, yeah. Swiss and play. I was thinking Swiss army knife is why I Fair said knife. Enough. Okay. So we've got knife, knife. and mountain. mountain. Okay. Three, Three two, one. Megatron. Bread knife. <laughs> Bread knife. <laughs> Megatron. Three, two, one. one. Future, Future Dan. Dan. Did it. Whoa! <laughs> we nailed it! That is so weird. That is awesome. So the game is to like, you just both keep saying words till you say the same word. But you're trying to attach like to jovial, Ran- funny things yeah. to the conclusion. Random connections. So wow. Future Dan's a real thing and he's back. He's so, on UKC now. Jesus. Megatron Fe- and Breadknife, Future Dan. It yeah, makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. So should we tell the guys about Future Dan? I think we said about the dream you had about said, the head of me with so a knife. So last week we mentioned about the, the beheadal dream that I had a few weeks ago. Beheadle? Beheadle. The other night, I looked at Dan and I said, if we could ever time travel, Dan, one of us uh, time travel to this moment right now and make something crazy happen. And Dan looked at me and we just looked at each other and nothing really happened. And we were looking around waiting for something to happen. And then Dan just picked up two bread knives and threw one on the floor in front of me. And with and then like stared at me like come at me bitch sort of look and then we burst out laughing. Dan left the room, and then uh, <laughs> then I, then he came in and I was like oh my god man that was so funny that was a funny little bit we did there, and then he was then Dan just was like what are you talking about I have no idea what you're talking about and then in my head I'm like was that future Dan 
from the future. He came back just for that moment. But the thing, the problem now is that I think <laughs> it didn't actually happen. The Bed <laughs> thing didn't happen. I think that you're fucking with me. Right. So I just played into it. I was like, yeah, yeah, the Bed Night thing was really funny. I have no idea. I don't but know. You don't know what I'm talking about? Not a clue. Jesus! Man, these and then you theories keep going in about my this head. future Dan thing that this guy keeps popping up. And then we went climbing today <laughs> and we bumped into a lovely friend, uh, Otter's Pool Wall, the mm. promenade lump of rock. Oh, yeah. Great little day. And then he was like, So there's a climb on here called Hummel. <laughs> Is that you? And I was like, It's not me. No. So and the, and the disc- and obviously Dan's the Hummel boy, aren't you? you? All you wear is Hummel, for people that don't know. Uh, and uh, our friend just didn't believe us. It so was like, it has to be done. I just, I just get up on yeah, it. Yeah, find a description. description is it's like, written like you would write it. Yeah, it's really weird. But so you definitely is, haven't done it. Is this Future Dan reading out? Reaching Whoa, out? Future Dan is... Oh my God, are we in some sort of time no idea wormhole? Anymore. Oh my God. So UKC, Otter's Pool. Yes. Promenade. Prom. And there's not many log, logged climbs anyway, so it won't be hard. No, no. Actually, it's... Is there a lot? <laughs> More than a four. Anyway, there's a six A on there. It's actually if it's future Danny, probably would have graded it at six B. True. So where is it future Dan? It's called Hummel, my favourite well, brand. It might be a future joke we don't understand. Might be. Sit start right to centre on the middle wall, pull directly up and finish on a double thumb press and a brick at the top of the wall. Add an A plus by eliminating the big block. Hummel's optional. Hummel's optional. <laughs> <laughs> so your Hummel shorts, they're optional. So if we doesn't then, affect the grade if you're wearing different coloured shorts. So if you then different branded shorts, um, go onto Google and type in Define Hummel. So the Hummels that I know are the brand, the amazing brand, futuristic. Where are they from? Denmark. They, Denmark. Futuristic branding. Like Danish. Just, they're booming now. They are futuristic. They, yeah, they, they, they really they've gone are. into like hipster world, haven't they? They really have gone into hipster world. Or it's this small like um, poly, not polystyrene, fucking um, porcelain type. German style doll at South Park made the fun out of. Oh, is it? For like, there's a care home and all the drug dealers in the care home are dealing in Hummels. That's like the currency. <laughs> These little statues, like kids weeing and stuff like that. Oh my god! Like my friend Dan's so got funny. Hummel in his toilet at home. Oh, and it's just, oh, I know what you mean. Actually, yeah, they're Hummels. So oh, I didn't know that. Then if you define Hummel, um, an adjective lacking horns or antlers, fair enough. Whoa. Um, and then. That's that's Hummel on there. So there's nothing in there about like lacking what could be lacking horns or antlers. Yeah. So it's an animal or something that would normally have horns or antlers without an horn. Whoa. But like the reality is Hummel. is like gee, it doesn't have any meaning for this climb other than the brand. Yeah, it has to be the brand. So it has to be future you or there's another Hummel boy walking around Liverpool. Which I'm yet to see because I've seen it in Europe a lot of it. Yeah. And every now and then, like the Stora boys are using <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for the parkour. parkour boys. Like, but it's not climbing branded. No. So, not at all. like, I've not actually wait there. Let's log in. <laughs> okay. It yeah. Let's one log. step further and yeah. see. We might say he didn't recognise the the name of the, the name. dude. <clears throat> so we log in. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Um. um wasn't the Ryan name Ryan Jaeger? Ryan Jaeger. Um, and most of. Most of Ryan's climbs are Triffan Fach, Little Triffin. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, um, Ryan, Ryan, reach out to the podcast, man. Ryan Jaeger, whoever because... you are, man, you've you've sparked my interest in this. Ryan Jaeger's a future joke that Future Dan's brought in. <laughs> I don't know. Is it his alter ego? Is it Ryan? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I've got all sorts of theories playing out in my head. And I, um, I wonder if future Pete will ever get involved or whether I've got a theory that Dan is just future Pete. And then if you go on to type in Ryan Yeager in um, Instagram, about the four, two of them are anime characters. <laughs> and then the fourth one down is... Fourth one down. From Attack on Titan. Oh, sugar. It's Ryan, um, it's, it's Yeager, Aaron Yeager. <laughs> like what the fuck? What the frick? Maybe this is the this is the rabbit hole of our What life. the frick? He's after <laughs> us, man. You started something you can't finish. Jesus. And future Dan by that your your dream about being beheaded. Beheading my, me. Yeah. Future Dan's on it. My future Dan might have inceptioned that dream into me. Because it's coming for you. Yeah. Or he knows that the dream is a prophecy and he's coming for me. You're f- you found I'm, love Either way, prophecy. you're fucked, mate. No. 
<laughs> you're fucked. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Either way, I'm fucked. remember that. Future Dan's got Yeah, this. but can I get Present Dan on my side? Can we fight Future Dan, please? Fe- Present Dan likes you, but every now and then, Present Dan's like, Future Dan's got this. Just leave it to Future Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this fence sitting, Dan. Come on, you've got to I'm choose a, a side. Too. No, you've got to choose Pete. Or future Dan side. I've always been offensive to him. I'm not going to change that, but future Dan. Look, man. Future Dan's determined. He's no, you're no you're pretty masked, it, man. Seen, you no, you don't seen, like future you've Dan. You've seen the change in me recently, <laughs> haven't you? It's like, I'm future not standing Dan, for no, as much no nonsense. No nonsense. No nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> no nonsense. Future Dan stands for no nonsense. And no nonsense. No within nonsense. The nonsense. No nonsense. <laughs> wow. Did I tell you the time where I thought for the first, like, 15 years of my life, whenever I heard somebody say the word nonce, I thought they were calling people idiots. Yeah, because, I thought I was younger. Because nonce is a nonsense. shortening of the word nonsense. And it's like, oh, that person over there is a nonce because he has no sense. So what even not alone in it yeah. or it's just me and you that think that yeah and maybe. that could be the one thing that ties us together whoa not just the one thing no that just that yeah the, the time that we both agreed <laughs> that the word nonce sounds like nonsense we don't agree on many other things no, that's about it yeah that's pretty that much that future it. Dan's gonna kill you fuck fuck's sake so future Dan what he likes from what I've gathered is to fuck with you yeah 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 and a little time. bit of me yeah Maybe. A little bit of you, but yeah, mainly fucking with me. I wonder what Future Dan's doing climbing wise. I wonder wise. if maybe I could get Future Dan on my side to get Present Dan. But I, I like Present Dan. I don't want to get Present Dan. I want to get Future Dan because he wants to get me. Um, anyway, this is, I this is getting meta. This is getting confusing. Present Dan. Present Dan likes climbing. Yeah. Chocolate. Nice. Coffee. Nice. Um, and sleep. Oh, mm. nice. What does, okay. what does Pete like? Uh, Pete likes... Photos. Cheekiness. Cheekiness. I like cheekiness. Yeah. I like, ooh, I like sweets. You do? I really like sweets. If anyone wants to see more cheeky photos of Pete as well, just ask because we'll share more. Okay. (laughs) I've got got loads. We're sitting on loads of cheeky photos. I like sticks. But doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like the world's starting to open up a tad? It does. Like it's like a glimmer of hope, even though the governments aren't really being very forthcoming. Open, or no, open, but, but like people's attitude is like oh. finally a bit like, oh, the real world isn't like too we far have, away. I don't have to be scared of being around other people. Actually, um, even I'm though still scared of that, I'm still scared a little. But like, I'm not actually that. I don't know. It, it, people are starting to realise that. If we're ever going to live life, we have to start putting one foot in front of the other a little bit and tiptoeing our way into the world and maybe, yeah, I don't know. And it just feels good, doesn't it? It's, it's really nice. Yeah. What have you been up to this week? It's a good question. I've actually climbed quite a bit. Climbed a bit? Which is a very nice feeling. Yeah, because it's not So been we're long. basically like, we're focusing on Otterspool prom wall now. Oh yeah, baby. Because Owen and John. Yes. Brought that to life. Yeah, they have. And then some other people have stepped into our realm, which is mm. Colder Stones. Yeah, because we, we are brought the, that to the life. brand ambassadors for the Colder We've Stones Park. We've met some known climbers that know of it and have not shared of it. Yeah, some some um, old boys. But ultimately, we're finding these, well, what links into the topic of the week. Mm. It's like we're finding these things that are kind of bold, buildering. Yeah. It's like an excuse to climb within a city what we can do because yeah. it's all we've fucking got yeah because our rock is quite far away and unfortunately not that weatherproof yeah so these brick walls well the ethics are out the window aren't they bring a chisel bring a yeah gun. that's that's the crazy thing about builder and especially on an old dirty wall ethics are out the window completely yeah. you don't want to look after the wall because it's a brick wall you yeah know, you don't want to fall over but exactly. it's like but you scrub the shit out yeah it. scrub it a bit harder than you'd oh, normally scrub a wall it's old getting a bit better <laughs> The more I scrub, the more this mortar is getting uh, wiped away. So this is a big hold now. So you've had a good week of buildering. Big time. Big. You got one I of got the projects. Project. Project. Yeah. So I had a. Um, well, we did. We had we the project. It's we all line. Yeah. We had the left hand traverse, which was like the the first test piece of Colder, Colder Stones. Stones. It was like the one we were happy with. It's fucking horrible. Then me and you both moved it back about two moves, and then I, and then we both did that, and then I think you moved it back another move and got that. And then but Mikey then you came. Took it higher, yeah, and further back, and took it like a, maybe another two or one moves back, and it's slightly higher now. This, so basically, this traverse is going to be about I don't know eight, me- keep... eight meters long, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. On on brick crimps, on tiny, a tiny crimps and tiny little feet, and it's so delicate, sequency and delicate, and it's like not my style of climbing at all. And it, yeah, but I had a really good week this week where we're crimping. 
I crimp, yeah. I'm learning how to crimp, but like properly, like my fingers are feeling strong in that way. I'll come home and oh, pain, I'll get like, man. like you say, the stiffness. And you know, you've been saying like, it's hard to describe it. You say your knees feel like they're cloudy. It kind of feels like my fingers yeah. are like that. It's like there's like a, they're full of cloud. <laughs> I'm, I'm four days on. Four days on in climbing. Lockdown. That's in not lockdown. That's not happened for... No. Nah, That's not amazing. happened since November. It's like a few good things coming the together, isn't it? The pain is lovely. Yeah. It's... The, the hate is leaving my body <laughs> filled with pain yeah, yeah and anguish nice. and suffering isn't that isn't that funny, uh, not funny. pain it gets saves. rid of pain 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 versus pain anger it gets rid of anger you said the anger's leaving your body pain gets rid of anger what <laughs> <laughs> I live in fear man I live in fear too. I'm starting tonight, to. Tonight, there's some more fear coming. Is there? We're watching a horror film? Nah, it's just thoughtful. It's just a thoughtfully scary, thillery film. Should we get, looking should forward we get, to it. Should we get into the shit? <laughs> Let's get into the shit, boy. Because it top the lines into all this shit. Yeah. Hmm. It's not making any noise. It's because it's not turned up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Hey, boo. Onyx. <laughs> Who was Onyx? He was a love child or something recently, wasn't he? Onyx, I found a new best friend. No, he was Fuck you, Dan. Ekins and Gravel is love child. Was oh, it that? yes. I met a new guy called Onyx, and then you were like, is he a fucking Pokemon or something? Yeah. And then you said, who were his parents? Ekin, what's his Ekins name? Ekins and Graveler. and Graveler had yeah, a baby. Okay. Ekins the snake from Pokemon. Graveler the rock type Pokemon had a baby. Mean and it Onyx? was Onyx, the snake rock. I think I probably nailed Pokemon there. Yeah, you did probably nail fixed it. it. Absolutely nailed it. So the, po- the topic anyway, of the week, Pokemon. <laughs> topic of the week, Pokemon. And buildering. And build. <laughs> and we just did the Pokemon bit. Nailed so that. Finished. Pokemon Go went massive, didn't it? It did go big. It went fucking viral. Is that the same as buildering? Probably. Um, Let's say wild Pokemon. Yeah, did you hear about the, the guy that actually soloed one of, um, you know, the Charizard's sh- first ascents? No, not Charizard. The Shard. The what? Charizard. Sh- so he soloed. The Charizard. You know, in. Um, in London, yeah, the Shard. Fuck off. The the massive. I have no idea about that. Yeah, he soloed the Shard uh, to get a Charizard on Pokemon Go, and then he, he fell and died. Yeah. Fuck off. Bullshit. <laughs> I was, it was all right for a I was, second. I was trying to bring like, these worlds together. I was just lying the though. Charizard. Charizard. <laughs> That's what I'd hide if I was Charizard on the Shard. Yeah, I'd hide on the Shard as well. You're a cheese type Pokemon. <laughs> 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 I am, man. On so many fucking I'm levels. a fucking halloumi, bitch. You're not a halloumi. I am a halloumi. They're substantial, meaty, thoughtful bits of cheese. You're substantial, meaty, thoughtful? Yeah, you're like a... Like a camembert. No, that's brilliant cheese. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, exactly what you. I am. I'm fucking... Oh, no, no. I'm a manchego. I'm yeah, fruity. Really I'm, no, manchego and it's fruity. Boring, man. I'm fun. Spanish che- it's like cheeky. Spanish mild cheddar. What? No one actually wants it. They all just go, I like it in Manchego because it's hipster. Yeah, I like a Manchego and I like a Latin dance. It's better cheese. Get something stinky in your life, you... <laughs> 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 so we want to talk about buildering for a couple of reasons. Fuck you. The biggest driving force. No, I'm not li- is... no, no, no. Don't listen to Danny. He, d- he has no idea what he talks about. You're a soft cheese. I'm not a You're soft a cheese. you Philadelphia I'm... spread. And you are because you eat tons of it. Yeah, that's you what know. you are. I'm not Philadelphia. I'm You're the, fake I'm, Philadelphia. Yeah, exactly. Aldi's own. Aldi's own Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, okay, I am that. Yeah, you are that, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I am fucking that. And I'm a strong, steady, <laughs> extra mature. Yeah, real stinky, cheddar. real old. I'm just cheddar. Moldy. Yeah, no cheddar. one likes it. No one likes it. Only cheese guys like it, and you don't want to be friends with cheese no guys because no they like cheese. It. No one because no one understands it. No, no one understands. Everyone it. understands. No one you. wants to. Plain simple. <laughs> spread it on anything. It tastes all right. Yeah, but it's too hard to get get you, man. Because you put it in your mouth and you're like, oh, it's too stiff. <laughs> Did the one thing about Philadelphia? Can't fucking. Don't take, point at me. You can't take it anywhere, can you? Can't oh. fucking take it anywhere. <laughs> you can't. You can't. It relies on something else. Yeah, but to no carry one. It, yeah. Like a piece of bread or a piece of meat. Wow. That's what you are. <laughs> You might have won with that. Suck on that. <laughs> Fuckhead. Yeah, but everyone's annoyed when the stinky one comes out. They are, but they know he can look after themselves. So they're like, yeah, he smells, but you know, <laughs> you'll be fine in the corner. 
Put a bit of Branson pickle on it. I can't argue with this. Well done. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Back to Bildering. <laughs> yeah. The driving force of the whole podcast is potentially climbing. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Or yeah. cheese versus Pokemon debates. Mm, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Cheese versus Pokemon debates are much more sustainable than Bildering <laughs> conversations. Cheese type Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. And then what other type Pokemon would there be? Builder in Pokemon. Builder in Pokemon. Like, um, a good one would be Mr. Mine. Yeah. I think he's got the movement down. Yeah, what Pokemon would be the best climber? Probably Charizard. No. <laughs> he's a flying type Pokemon. Yeah, That's not climbing. No, no, no. Snorlax. No, not Snorlax. He's um, rubbish. He'd be too... He's, he's off, power he's to amazing. weight. His power to weight ratio is off. <laughs> power and he just sleeps all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what about my, my champ? Yeah, pretty four good. arms. Imagine <clears throat> the dinos are four arms. Pretty good. What about um? Ooh, what other Pokemon? Oh, Magikarp. Magikarp. <laughs> Straight up the waterfalls. Straight up climb. the waterfalls. Salmon. Anyway, waterfalls. we, me and Pete, were building today on a brick wall. Yes. And we both remembered an amazing, an amazing film that we both watched um, a while ago. back, ages Early ago. Early lockdown. And we always wanted to talk about it because it's like one of these hidden gems that no no one seems to have watched it. Probably no. all the hardcore people. So it was released on, it's on YouTube and it's called Real Rock an urban climbing experience. Boom, there we it go. It comes from Rome Media, <laughs> which I didn't know is Jimmy. Yeah, so Jimmy Chin made a, like, he's got a company that, I'm guessing he makes all his money from this is company. Jimmy, is it Jimmy Chin's or is it Jimmy Webb's? No, it's Jimmy Chin. So Jimmy Chin's Rome. Jimmy Chin, yeah, because he's the photographer dude, isn't he, Jimmy yeah. Chin? And then he, this Rome Media, Media. company yeah. is basically kind of like a half charity, half, like, kind of like Red Bull Media, where they make cool films, but they also teach filmmakers and uh, aspiring photographers to sort of be um like the uh, an outdoor photographer like live in that outdoor photographer world do you know what i mean like and work within it and what yeah. they need to know it's quite a cool company anyway it's it was released so they must do sponsorships and they must give grants out to up to people that are doing cool films it's 2019 i was just trying to look at the date it felt old like it's so hipster it's so cool yeah it does feel older actually it's fucking it? amazing but there's these two guys drew heather and josh weinstein yeah weinstein and i like interviewing loads of pro climbers as well and they're just taking builder into this level in boulder yeah colorado the in boulder, boulder. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just taking it's like it the irony of that to such a fucking insane level so like yeah. i mean you like climbing over stuff running and jumping up stuff yeah but these are doing like 30 meter splitter cracks in the desert yeah. on a car park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like in the heat, with in gear, the sun. without gear. And yeah, they're sometimes they're soloing. And soloing. Fucking massive. What they're buildings. doing is insane. And the, the tone of the film's so funny because it's like the whole time that they, they're sort of acknowledging how insane of a sport it is by because the, the tone's really silly and not that serious. But then every now and then they drop some really insightful. Sort yeah. of, they talk about it in an insightful way, which shows that they've actually fallen in love with this ridiculous sport, and they they're I just I taking it to more, different man. levels. I yeah. really want to know more because yeah. it's like, are these guys truly invested in that? Which is awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. like a part. Thing. As it, is it a separate? Like it's almost a separate sport in a way because the things that they did took time to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I wonder if they had to plan it or the edit on it. Oh, shit hot. Yeah, yeah. The like, film itself is really well made. 10, 11, Eleven to twelve minutes. Yeah, yeah. And then um, to even send some of that stuff, though, I wonder how much thought and preparation went into right, each one of those projects. Like... Did they walk up to it and go, oh, fucking send that? Or some of the big ones, did they actually, was there weeks of work that went no into no it? Idea. And like beta? And like, they had to actually know, I don't know, it's crazy, Because now it? we're in this realm because of COVID where we're actually building all the fucking time. Yeah, and actually getting really seduced by it. Yeah. Like, like really? Like, there's a, there's, they talk about it in there, which is obviously a lot more impressive because it's a proper line. Yeah. But we, we're, like, maniacal over our little lines, our little projects. Yeah, yeah. Which are basically... We're grading them. We're putting them online. Like we're sharing them with people. Five bricks to the top of a wall. Yeah, yeah, it's just five moves. Hard, how can you get to the top of the wall as hard as possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah genuinely, as hard which as possible. Is pretty much bouldering, yeah. in a nutshell. I don't yeah, know, it's true, isn't it? But, um, yeah, it's really funny, and it's just... Yeah, like you say, they're just taking it to this absolute on, um, next level. On the Enemies of Peck's webpage, yeah. you know, on Facebook, whatever it, that thing they've got. Oh, yeah. yeah. Talk about Enemies Pex. of Peck's. Um, <laughs> what, is there an actual one called Enemies of Peck's? Isn't, you... isn't that what it's called? 
<laughs> I thought it was the second one that I'm not involved in called Enemies of Pex. Is it not Enemy? Is it? It might be Enemies of Pex. I've not seen it in a while. Yeah, I'm sure. You it's thought called. it was Pe- Enemies sure of Pex. I've not logged on in what ages, honestly. I th- last time I. Th- like like I say, I've only been on it once or twice. But last time I saw it, I thought it was Friends of Pex. No. I thought they were all See, friendly. There's no Friends at no, Pex Hill. No, you're right. That doesn't make sense. Why would it be called Friends of Pex Hill? Because I think people presume that <laughs> all the clans like each other. And they don't. <laughs> it's quite funny. It's really weird, so isn't it? So on the, on the Enemies of Pex webpage, anyway. <laughs> well, there's not. We all, a lot of people like each other. Do they? Yeah, Fuck they off. do, but there's just drama a lot because it's drama. Drama. <laughs> it's where <laughs> it's really strong drama. Strong drama. Strong drama. So there's a little thing in that about like there's a commentary about because people are building all over the fucking city right now. Yeah, yeah, they really there's are. In the cathedral grounds, they've yeah. been asked not to climb there. We didn't get to try that out, but no. I can kind of get why. Yeah, because it seems a bit. Rude. And you're in a cl- you're in the climb. You're in the fucking church cemetery. Grounds. It's a bit. But anyway, blah, you're blah, climbing blah. right next to graves, like on graves, yeah. pretty much. The photos. Like they're really, they really old awesome. graves. Yeah, they do look cool. They <laughs> they look cool, but and they're really, really old graves. Like, like the oldest there. But it, yeah, there's something about it that I can I can just see why they're getting told off or told not to move on because passersby are gonna be like, why? What, that's why a- are you climbing there? Yeah. It's- so we've had little interaction at Calderstones with with the police. Yeah, which the police we talked came. about on the pod. And yeah. It was like. You they know, were they came along and had a chat like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah. When you just calmly went off, just climbing to the top of the wall, climb back down because you're really bored. You're like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. In and fact, they wanted like, to watch for a bit. And you're in like a, a but anyway, the builder and scene. I yeah. thought it would have been a lot bigger. Yeah. So some people built home boards. Amazing. Yeah. But then like, one of the comments on the Enemies Apex page is something like, e- in Liverpool, they're even logging brick walls now. No. In a jovial way, this one wasn't a bad yeah, one. I'm just yeah, being yeah. a twat. Wow, that's but, annoying. But ultimately, though, it's like um, we are the logging f- brick walls. What else can we do? Yeah, exactly. Well, we're doing what we can do, we're and doing, we're creating and what we're doing. Yeah. And then, so John has put up. He's done loads. Oh, yeah, it's pool. fucking awesome. He's done loads. He's built a topo. It's amazing. It's so good. And Numbered the holds. We went to Mike. Give us a hand, and he put up quite a hard climb. Yeah. Like Owen's been climbing. Yeah, on, and put it like, on UKC. And it's like it's actually quite hard. What you're doing is sharing great experiences. It's like you're. It's it's nothing bad. It's nothing. So today we went to Otterpool and We did our exercise there, mm. and it was so just yeah. just sat. Even though it's the River Mersey, and it was a weird misty day. Yeah, it was. We really were just nice outside. Day. Yeah, it was lovely. And we bumped into one of my old friends who's yeah. like trying to get outside all the time with the kids and yeah. that. It's like, what the fuck else do you do? Yeah. And I think, to be honest with you, we've had loads of fun builder and we've done quite a lot actually. And we found loads of challenges and we mm. it's been brilliant, hasn't mm. it? But with the builder and scene, it's it's not it, it's not, not respected at all. And that's what they're talking and, about. Yeah, in the film they mention it that. He, Oh fuck! This is what we said we shouldn't do on the podcast. Not have names. We need to know people's names. We need to be knowledgeable. But that older dude, yeah, the legend. He's like this old school fuck, he's climbing legend. Well. Do you want to find him? Whilst I, I yeah, think yeah, you waffle. Uh, I waffle right now. Anyway, he's <clears throat> yeah, he's just this old school legend that does a lot of buildering in the day. And he says this really cool thing where he's uh, he's like, what what pe- what they're doing by buildering? It's like a it's got this weird energy. It's like it's. There's a nervy energy around it because it's not respected. The public don't like it. It's kind. It's weird, and you might get in trouble with the police as well. You might this actually get in some real trouble, and you've got to calm all that down in your head and send these really insane routes. Which like sometimes when they're when they're doing solo and stuff, because this film um, really revolves around some of the bigger things that they're doing, which is like the, the thirty meter like brick wall stuff. Like if you fall, you might. You really hate yourself, and I suppose when it's left into the mountains, mm. the the population don't care as much because they're not. But, witnessing but we it. care because Mountain Re- we're responsible for Mountain, for Mountain Rescue, Rescue having to help yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. And we have those conversations with each other. We don't really do risky stuff in the mountains because we're not that savvy. But no. we still talk to each other, and it's like, yeah. don't want to put yourself at risk. Yeah, but yeah. In the city, I don't know. We are doing riskier Fuck things. Yeah. yeah. And we're not that bad. No, Watching we're not bad. Watching their video. Oh yeah, my God. it's insane, man. I can't get that guy's name. But uh, honestly, like, some of the points they pull out from it, it's like, because the being funny is like, yeah. um, they're looking at the mountains going, when all those routes are going to be completed one day. Yeah. And we're trying, to, we're trying to replicate mountainscapes in our buildings. <laughs> it's so funny, it's that brilliant. angle. It's, it's so such good. a good angle. That, yeah, it really is. Yeah, because he starts to describe, it's like, yeah, we went to the mountains and like, you're amazed by these great monoliths and then we try to recreate them by building skyscrapers <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's just so funny. But then, 
yeah. for us in our little world, we're just trying to replicate what we're doing outdoors, mm. and we're trying to be ready for when the world lets us out again. So that we can we crush don't have, it. We don't have, we're not fingerboarders, no, we do a bit of pull-ups, yeah. we like our exercise, yeah. it's like, but we like climbing, yeah. and we can't get the fix, yeah. and we can't break the rules. True. So we've been good, man. Mm. I Yeah, we've been really good, and like, I... It kind of annoys me a bit if people poo-poo it yeah, or, or like disrespect strange. it in a way because it's like, it's. It, well, what, what's your answer to it? Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. you're pooing the thing. Yeah. I'll build a board at home. Fair enough. It's quite a lot of money. Mm. We can afford a board. Can yeah. I be asked to build one right no. now? I can't. No. I just think it's it's a be- it's like it's just nice. Yeah. It's, it's been it's, a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, and like we spend the time outdoors doing what we love. And like we were talking yesterday, like because we're lucky to have people actually know what they're talking about. And it's great is. training. Yeah, so, that's the bit. Yeah. Like who Owen said yeah. yesterday, there's different bits of training to be taken from the different, different things we found. Different crags, yeah. So colder stones, it's just all Fingers. crimps. It's all crimps, but like you can't move on it like you move when you're rock climbing because your fingers are about to explode and then like, the feet are tiny and it's just a vert wall. So that's really good at getting your feet placement good and your finger strength amazing. But then Otter's Pool has all these weird shaped holds and bigger feet. So you can actually move around on it more freely, like we're climbing outdoors. So there's one. We've got one for strength and technique, and we've got one for movement and body position. Which crazy. Right now, that's what what we need. It's exactly what we need. And I've got a feeling that, uh, especially, so I sent my project that I talked to Mikey about it today, and we trust everything Mikey says. It has to be at least a seven A. That at least that uh traverse. It's well, the thing the theory is is that there's a benchmark. That's been given to us by Mikey. Yes. So that's our benchmark. Yeah, which is so the brick top climb, climb on it. which is a set which he labelled seven A, which is this hard one two well one move, isn't it really the really hard move? Fucking nails. It's such a hard move. So if you compare that really to the traverse, to like it's got to be a seven A. The traverse doesn't have that one isolated move as powerful as that. No. But it has multiple difficult moves. One multiple difficult moves. So and like to be honest, like if anyone wants to go to that thing can go you know just play on the thing it will help you mm. um yeah big time we've got one month left ish one month so fingers crossed yeah fingers, fingers crossed, crossed man got a, a, but don't cross your fingers on cold stones it won't help it won't help I've tried it at all tried it there's a very good chance the hardest thing if i keep like i had so much fun i actually crossed my fingers today did uh, you i just pulled brown for a climb yeah. did you like, like a little you, stack on top of each other thing, yeah you can add more pressure down on yeah. one little mono, can't you? So don't it's cross good. your fingers at Calder Stones, but you can at Otter's Pool. Okay, they're the rules, guys. Fair play. No, but there's a good chance if I uh, continue, because what I want to do with this traverse is keep taking it a step further back, a step further back. If I take it a few more moves back, and then like a few more moves after that, there's a good chance the hardest thing I've ever done to date is on a brick wall. Which is quite funny, isn't it? Which is quite weird, yeah. Quite funny. Anyway... Very nice talking to you, Pete. Yeah, very nice talking to you, Danny. Let's get back into this, because who the fuck is Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Danny? <laughs> Danny! If you want to uh, follow me on Instagram, please follow me. Uh, it's Pete underscore Rick. I want followers. I I want them you all. Deserve follow- you actually do deserve followers. Follow Pete. Yeah, like, you deserve followers. Yeah, but I'm just you're diary probably... logging my life. I do yeah. like it. It's very cute. Yeah. But you're actually like photography and shit, man. It's... Yeah, but you're, Dan's way more funnier to watch. Mine's just like, if you want to look at great photos. That's lovely, yeah. yeah. Mine's, my stories can be, yeah. yeah. Anyway, follow me, Dan, go right <laughs> there. I'm all right. And then we've got a really good mate, little Owen down south. He's got a good outdoor brand, Escape Outdoors. Get on him. Really yes. give him some support. Whatever that it's... means for you. He's a really lovely dude. Yeah. And, you know, right now, try and support your local little... That's escoutdoors.co.uk. Uh, definitely worth a check out. And I think our our coupon code might be working still, which is BHPOD10. So yeah, just yeah. give it a go. Yeah, if you off. Give it a go. <laughs> yeah. uh, stay sassy, that. guys. Look after yourselves. And yeah. Stay pretty and all that. All right. And if you're not pretty, just, you know, have a good time. <laughs>